Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a technique of making this pinwheel spiral beanie which suits everyone irrespective of age and gender. So let's get started. For this project, I am using various colors of 6 ply yarn with a crochet hook of size 4 mm. However, you can choose your own yarn and its suitable hook size. Now let's begin with one of the colors. Begin with a slip knot. Now we are going to make a foundation double crochet stitch. For this, begin with chain 3. The first chain is considered as a foundation chain and thus chain 2 is considered as a double crochet stitch in that particular chain. Now yarn over. Insert the hook into the first stitch that is the third stitch from the hook and drop a loop. Now we'll have three loops on the hook. Now make chain one that is come out from the first loop. That's the foundation chain. And now out of the three loops, make a DC. This forms a double crochet stitch in the first chain. Now we have two double crochet stitches. Again yarn over. Insert the hook back into the foundation chain, the chain which we have got by doing a chain 1. Insert the hook into that loop, drop a loop and chain 1. That's the third foundation chain and now we are going to make a third DC. Again yarn over, insert the hook back into the foundation chain and drop a loop, chain 1 for the fourth foundation chain now work the double crochet I think you have got the hang of the stitch now we have got four double crochet stitches now continue to make the foundation chain of required length after making few stitches I have checked the height of the cap Usually we have to work 1.5 inches more than the required measurement and I am making it for a baby of 1 year age which needs a requirement of 6 to 7 inches height and this measures approximately 8.5 inches which means the final product will come around 6.5 to 7 inches height. So this meets my requirement I am stopping it here. And now we are going to add the circumference for this cap. Keep the reference of the tail end at one end. Now chain 1 and do not count this chain 1 as a stitch. Turn your work around and now into the first stitch insert your hook only into the back loops. Okay. Yarn over. Insert the hook only into the back loop of the first stitch and then make a double crochet increase into it that means we are going to work two double crochet stitches into the same stitch so here it is a DC increase without counting that chain one and now for the rest of the row I am going to make one DC in each and every stitch throughout the row until there are only two stitches left just remember I am giving you the technique of making this beanie you can replicate this pattern using a half double crochet stitch or even a single stitch. So we have two, only two stitches left at the last. And now I'm going to make a decrease, DC decrease. That means a DC join, DC two together. Just take a reference of this beginning tail end. And whenever you are at this tail end, we have to make a decrease. If not, you can take the help of a stitch marker as well. So DC halfway through in the first stitch, yarn over and DC halfway through in the second stitch. Now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and draw through all the three loops on the hook. That's a DC decrease. We have a DC increase in the first stitch and a DC decrease in the last two stitches. Just keep the reference of this tail end, okay? Now going to the next row, chain 1 and turn your work. Again, 
we are working at the tail end side and at the beginning of the stitch we are going to make a DC decrease that is we are going to join the first and second stitches so make DC halfway through in the first stitch yarn over and DC halfway through in the second stitch now we will have three loops on the hook yarn over and draw through all the three loops that's the DC decrease now again into the back loops make one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until there is only one stitch left at the last again reminding you work only into the back loops which leaves the front loops to give this rib texture pattern for us and if you want this texture to be close and without holes you can always prefer half double crochet stitch or even single stitch this ribbed pattern creates nice texture for our beanie so continue to make DCs throughout the row until there is only one stitch left at the last now here I am working the last before stitch and now there is only one stitch left at the last just remember we have the chain 1 stitch which we are not counting as a stitch so identify the last stitch carefully and into the back loop of the stitch make a DC increase and the thing to remember whether your work is going correctly or not is the number of stitches in each row remains the same now chain 1 again turn your work this is the other side of the pattern where we don't have a tail end which means we have to start with an increase now that's the DC increase and then continue to make one DC in each and every stitch into the back loops throughout the row now making the last decrease of the fourth row and this completes four rows of my pattern if you wish you can continue with the same color but I prefer changing colors after each and every four rows you can see the parallelogram shape that is taking out with one side increases and the other side decreases now here I am going to change the color to another one if you wish you can continue with the same color and I recommend you to change color for every two rows which gives you a nice ribbed pattern or if not just like I have shown in the video change it after every four rows now for the fifth row I am going to change this color and for this changing color I have to go back a stitch that means I'm going to complete this decrease with a new color now chain 1 including this tail end now secure this join turn your work include the tail ends while working this row and this technique helps us to reduce the weaving in ends at the last and as this is the beginning end of the tail end we have to start with a decrease just carefully adjust and hold all the stitches together halfway through DC halfway through in the first stitch yarn over and DC halfway through in the second stitch carefully weaving in the ends as well now we have three loops on the hook yarn over and draw through all the three loops that's a DC decrease and again few decreases throughout the row onto the back loops and after making few DCs we can trim this previous color thread after making sure you have secured this starting just few more stitches to make sure that tail end won't come off now trim this thread so this is completely secured and now continue to make DCs into the back loops throughout the row until you reach the last stitch and in the last stitch again we are going to make an increase after making the last increase chain 1 and turn your work and begin with an increase for the 6th row 
and now you can see the shape of a parallelogram now continue to add rows by changing colors until you reach the required circumference that is nearly 14 inches now making the last stitch and trim the excess thread by leaving the double the length of the height and this tail end is used to sew the cap together this completes the crocheting part of a beanie look at the vibrant color palette with the rib texture of a beanie it's looking great right now you can see measurement of this beanie it's approximately 14 inches and as it is stretchable i'm stopping it here now fold it as shown bring both the ends together laying them side by side and now we are going to sew the ends together using a yarn needle just take the tail end into this yarn needle make a knot into the first stitch to join both the ends and now insert the needle into the back loop of the last stitch and the front loop of the first stitch have a closer look now insert the hook into the back loop of this gray color and into the only loop of this first row just sew them together throughout the row until you reach the last stitch now after getting into the last stitch secure this work by making a knot now we are going to close this one of the end for this use the same thread and needle and weave in and weave out throughout this first stitch on the top of the beanie just in and out randomly not too much spacious and not too close just in and out through the first stitches throughout the top row and pull out the yarn needle closely pull the needle tight to get all the stitches closer together you see that opening has closed now insert the needle into one of the stitches and make a knot to secure the closing run the needle through different directions just to secure the closing after making few runovers i mean the few knots insert the needle into the center and pull it out through the other side now secure this knots with another knot now weave in the tail ends and trim the excess thread weave in all the other tail ends and trim the excess threads and this completes our beautiful pinwheel spiral ribbed crochet pinny you can use this as it is or you can even add a pom pom on the top and add a border for it at the bottom or even you can fold it fold the bottom if it is more in length and you can decorate it with any appliques you wanted for a closer ripped look you can try using a single crochet or half double crochet and you can make it even more colorful by changing colors for each row or every alternative row or make it in a single color to enhance the look of the spiral ripped pattern it is such a beautiful pattern that suits anyone irrespective of age and gender what do you guys say let me show you the final measurements of this beanie after completing it. I've got 7 inches in height and 14 inches in diameter, which perfectly fits our near baby size. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it, and subscribe to DIY Crafts.